Hello everyone, and welcome back to my creative world. It's, uh... It's been a while. I've been busy. You now there was Final Stand, and then Arcadia, and then Real Life has been kind of, uh... A lot. But we're back! Woo! <laughs> I guess. So, in case you didn't pick up on it from the... Thumbnail, and the title, and the time lapse. Today's build is, uh, it, it's, it's a bank. It's just a little whip of a building, but it didn't really want it to, uh, interrupt that glorious sightline, but I also <laughs> really wanted it to be un- uh, like, right under the town hall, kind of. So, here it is. Cute little whip. And, uh, yes, a uh, whip of a build is a uh, technical term, of course. Yep. Uh, now the- for the exterior, it's pretty much, you know, falls in line with everything else in the area. Roof is newer than, like, you know, the tailors, and it doesn't seem to have the vine problem that a lot of the other builds in the area seem to have, so, uh, good- good for them, I guess. Lucky. But yeah, maybe that's it. Go inside, little arch. Entry area thingy, yeah. Now, in my mind, the tellers for this bank are uh, totally goblins. You cannot tell me otherwise. So, you know, they sit on their little chairs and they look over the counter, and you know, the villagers, you know, they go in between the little lines made by the fences. E. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice rim up here, I guess. Bars for windows for uh, extra security. <laughs> but the uh, the real attraction here is uh, the stuff going on underground. So uh, we could, you know, go in here, nice little entryway kind of big, uh, you know, bars on the doors and things. Uh, there's definitely some magic going on, so it's a lot more secure than it looks, I- I promise. And, you know, nice hallway, and we've got, you know, four different hallways, and then the stairwell, which we'll take a look at in a minute. But, yeah, you know, if we go into the hallways, we've got, you know, we've got all these, uh, little sealed doors, and well, some of them are not sealed. But they're all different vaults, different sizes, uh, the plaques on the doors, I imagine, would have writing if I actually felt like doing that. But yeah, if we take a peek inside, there's different things in all of them, and I just... <laughs> I don't know, I spent way too much time on this. Adding details that I don't think anyone's really gonna see. But, uh, you will, because I'm going to show you now. <laughs> yeah, some of them have, like, really obvious magical stuff, others have riches. Uh, this vault, I don't think we're ready to see what's behind that, so we're just going to uh, avoid the end of the hallway there. And, uh, yeah, I just, I added a whole bunch of silly little details to everything. I spent way too much time on this build for what it is. <laughs> but it's been a while since I played Minecraft. And I kind of wanted to get back into building, so uh, here I am, back into building. Woo! <laughs> yeah, someone... Big vault, but not a lot of stuff in it. Maybe they've fallen on hard times. Or some people just have, like, a tiny little storage unit locker deal. And then others have, you know, art and crates and chests and gold and crystals and books. And yeah, just to add a little bit of quirkiness, the floors have different gradients, because why not, right? I kind of imagine the goblins are like, you know, Vault 3 and or Green 3 or Yellow 7 or something. Hmm. Someone's gone on an adventure. Hmm. Just gonna... 
I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know whose vault that is, but I'm not going to uh, get involved with... I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm proud of all the silly details in the vaults. And now on to the uh, stairwell. Nice fancy roof, kind of these lanterns on chains going down, down, down. And then there's a lot of gradients going on in this build. I don't know why, but you know, the deeper you get, the darker the walls get. I don't think we need to go all the way down there. We, we can stop off here. I don't know what's down there, honestly. I don't really want to find out. And this just kind of opens up into here, but I've got a lot of ideas for this space. I'm thinking Goblin Town. I've always wanted to build a Goblin Town. It, 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 perfect opportunity. I'm going to take it. You cannot stop me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Goblin Town. Coming to a creative world near you at some point, someday. Me! <laughs> I don't know, I haven't been building for a while, and I'm back now, and I'm inspired, and I see many good things happening. Well, I say I haven't been building for a while, but uh, that... Is not quite true. I have been building. If, uh, you know, check out the links in the description, you can find links to my Twitch channel where I sometimes stream the building process. Also, there's, um, a really big surprise over somewhere behind me, way behind me. It's, um, it's big. I've been working on it for a long time. If you know, you know, if you don't, uh, you know, you should come watch my streams. Yeah. <laughs> <Wee. Ooh. laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. If you did, you know, like, subscribe, comment, all the good YouTuber things. Check out my Twitch channel. Follow over there too. Uh, I'm really close to becoming an affiliate, and uh, that would be fun. I think. Maybe. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh. And, in case you need to hear it, you're doing a great job, and I am so proud of you. Okay, now run away. Those bees are noisy.